so today we are going to see about uh, analysis of uh, cantilever beam so this was the problem we are going to take so compute the shear force and bending moment diagram for the beam uh, shown in the figure um, and also we need to find the maximum deflection assume uh, the cross sectional area of the beam as 0.2 meter and 0.3 meter young's modulus is given as 210 gigapascal poisson ratio is 0.27 so one end of the beam is fixed and the other end is acted with 10 kN downward the length of the beam is 5 meter so let us open the ANSYS so first give what type of problem it is click preferences structural ok preprocessor we need to assign the element so element type add add the element so it is a beam element so select beam 2 node 188 click ok close then directly go for uh, importing the material properties uh, since the real constant we can't give here so we can give the real constant value that is Young's modulus we can give the real constant value that is uh, we can give the real constant value that is thickness of the beam in a section portion so before that give material properties material model it is a structural problem linear elastic and isotropic so ex is Young's modulus and prxy is poisson ratio so according to the problem Young's modulus is 210 gigapascal poisson ratio is 0.27 so 210 gigapascal convert that into meter since the length of the beam is given in meter give the uh, thickness of the beam that is uh, rectangular cross section is given in the problem as uh, two, 0 0.2 into 0 0.3 meter so that should be given in the section portion click section so beam common section so in the common section breadth and height should be given so in problem 0.2 is the breadth and 0.3 is the height this is the rectangular cross-sectional area of the, the beam so that is uh, 0.2 meter into 0.3 meter so click ok now we can model the beam so straight away go to modeling create so we are going to use key points to draw this model we can also use uh, nodal option also we can use but here I am going to use the uh, key points key points in active CS so key point number 1 will be at origin that is 0 0 0 you can enter or leave empty click apply so now in the axis origin uh, the first key point has been assigned next second key point is 5 meter between the first key, first key point so second key point will be of length 5 meter that is the length of the beam so directly we can give us in active CS second point that is 5 meter since the load is acting at the end of the beam so no need to give any further uh, key points so only two key points is enough so two key points has been assigned so now we can draw the line a line straight line click first and the second key point now the line has been created click ok since we have used the key point to draw this line we have to mesh this so click mesh mesh tool so we can use a uh, lot of options for meshing but mesh tool is quite uh, simple if you want to reduce the mesh size if you want to reduce the mesh size you can click smart size and you can reduce the size so now I am going to keep as 4 mesh click the line click ok now the beam has been meshed so directly we can apply the load so according to the problem node 1 that is key point 1 is fixed and the key point 2 is acted with 10 kN downward so that's what I am going to give so in load option check whether the load is in static analysis so analysis type new analysis static so it is already in static so click ok now define the load click apply first fixed 
portion should be given so structural displacement here we have used the key points to draw this line here we have used the key points to draw this line here we have used the key points to draw this line so select the displacement on key points click this first node which we want to fix ok so we are going to constrain this uh, key points on all DYF that is one end of the beam should be fixed so we are arresting in all DYF click ok so now you can see that this portion is constrained in all the axis that is x and y and then we have to give the force at the node 2 that is on key points click force and moment on key points click the third one click ok since we need to give the downward uh, load of 10 kilo newton so click fy direction and since it is downward we should give in negative so 10 kilo newton which means 10,000 newton so minus 10,000 ok so that's all um, we have given uh, all the things that is uh, we have fixed at one end we have given a load at another end um, now we can solve the problem so go for solution solve current ls click ok so solution is done so we have done correctly so now we can extract the lizard based on the question close it so according to the question they have asked to uh, compute shear force and the bending moment diagram and also maximum deflection should be calculated so first let us calculate the maximum deflection so general post processor plot result contour plot nodal solution so this was the options we can use to compute the deformation so here uh, DOF solution so all the component stress so all the component displacement can be generated now I am going to give the displacement vector sum click ok so here you can get the maximum deflection that is 2160.88 mm sorry meter so if you want to view this in 3d just click it plot control style size and shape display as display of the element it will be in off condition just on it click ok just change the view for uh, proper uh, view of 3d so now we can uh, see the proper 3d view of the deflected beam which is acted with uh, 10 kilo newton at one end now the second uh, uh, thing we need to find is shear force and bending moment so for this we need to create a table just create a table uh, to compute the shear force and bending moment diagram so straight away go to plot result go to element table <coughs> define table so here no table is defined so we are going to define a table for computing shear force and bending moment diagram click add so in this sequence number should be given sequence number is SMISC for uh, shear force and bending moment diagram so SMISC 228 will be shear force diagram and 6 to 12 will be bending moment diagram so by sequence number first click 2 apply so initially the table is started creating then same by sequence number SMISC 8 click apply then by sequence number SMISC 6 apply then last by sequence number SMISC 12 click ok so that's all we have created the table 2 to 8 will be the shear force diagram 6 to 12 will be the bending moment diagram just close it 
now we can extract the result so change this into normal view then only our uh, shear force and bending moment diagram will be visible properly now go to plot result so plot result line element result so click that one here first smic that is element table item node i should be 2 and node j should be 8 click ok so this is the shear force diagram then same line element result 6 to 12 will give the bending moment diagram click ok so that's all so here we calculated uh, three different uh, solutions that is one is the total deformation of the beam and shear force diagram and bending moment diagram that's all thank you for watching